I want to focus on the types of injuries we will commonly see from tractor trailer accidents. Now let's first take a look at some stats dealing with tractor trailer accidents. According to the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, in 2013, 3,602 people were killed in accidents involving a tractor trailer. This equals 11% of all motor vehicle crash deaths from that year. 23% of passenger vehicle occupant deaths in multiple vehicle crashes in 2013 occurred in crashes with large trucks. And 60% of deaths in large truck accidents in 2013 occurred on major roads other than interstates and freeways. 30% occurred on interstates and freeways and 10% occurred on minor roads. Now here's another important factor to keep in mind. A tractor trailer, typical tractor trailer weighs more than 10,000 pounds and the max weight for a truck traveling on an interstate highway is 80,000 pounds. Four types of injuries we commonly see due to tractor trailer accidents are broken bones, traumatic brain injury, injuries to the pelvic region, and paralysis. And I'd like for us to take a look at these in more detail. Uh, broken bones. Bone fractures are a serious injury that can have many long-term health impacts. And at times, they can be life-threatening. Some serious complications of bone fractures are infection. An infection can occur within the bone itself, the joint area or the soft tissues surrounding the bone. And infections can vary in intensity, but can prove to be dangerous and life-threatening if not properly treated. Blood loss. Another way fractures can prove life-threatening is through extreme blood loss. For example, if there's a compound fracture, a severe bone breakage that actually tears through the skin, blood loss can be a very real threat to life. The bone could cut through an artery or major vein, and internal bleeding can also occur as a result of fractures that disturb the soft tissue and ligaments surrounding the bone. Another, fat embolism. This complication occurs in long bone fractures, such as the tibia or femur. After a fracture occurs, bone marrow releases fat into the veins. And the fat can cause blood flow obstruction, or in the arteries, it can cause central nervous system problems. Fat embolism is a rare complication, but however, symptoms can include rash, anxiety, restlessness, fever, and increased heart and breathing rate. And traumatic brain injury, or TBI. As you know, your, your brain is very soft, and in a car wreck, if your brain strikes the inside of your skull, the brain can be bruised, or as doctors refer to it, it can sustain a contusion. And when it's bruised, there is bleeding, and then there can be swelling. And this swelling can cause pressure to build, and it causes the brain to compress within the confines of the skull. And now, hip or pelvic injuries. The pelvic region contains the reproductive organs as well as large and small intestines. It also provides structure to the base of the body. The pelvic region is a vital part of the body and the injuries in this area are considered a medical emergency. Internal bleeding may accompany a pelvic injury. Nearly 25% of all patients with severe pelvic injuries experience internal bleeding due to fractures. As much as four liters of blood can collect in the rear base of the hip and can prove deadly if not detected and treated immediately. And then paralysis. Paralysis is loss of muscle function in part of your body. It happens when something goes wrong with the way messages pass between your brain and your muscles. And paralysis can be complete or partial. It can occur on one or both sides of your body. It can also occur in just one area or it can be widespread. Paralysis of the lower half of your body, including both legs, is called paraplegia. Paralysis of the arms and the legs is quadriplegia. Signs of paralysis after a car accident are lack of feeling when being touched by an object or person, lack of feeling of uh, pain or of pain in the injured body part, numbness in the affected area, inability to feel ho uh, heat and cold, tingling sensations in other areas of the body, impairment of vision. Now, claims against a trucking company can be extremely complex, and they have many legal issues that need to be investigated right away. Uh, let me ask you this. Do you really want to take on the tractor trailer company, their insurance company, and their team of lawyers by yourself, especially when you're trying to recuperate from your injuries? I don't think so. Now, if you or a family member is involved in a tractor trailer wreck, the single most important piece of advice that I can give you is this. Call a lawyer. If not us, please call a lawyer that has experience handling tractor trailer claims. It is a bad idea to try and take on the insurance company if they're lawyers by yourself. It's even worse to hire somebody in this area that has no experience taking on tractor trailer companies. 
our legal professionals are standing by right now to speak with you. The consultation is free. It's completely confidential. There is no obligation. And our website, we have so many videos on our website where you can learn more about tractor trailer claims. The website is GaryMartinHayes.com. Please, you owe it to yourself, to your family, to get all the help that you need, and we'd be happy to help you. Give us a call right now, 770-934-8000. Again, 770-934-8000. We'll be back.